but you need to know who you were so that you understand the blocks and where you got stuck and then feeling no 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 i want to be this this is what i'm choosing to be and then what am i doing here second question what am i doing it's a big question and on the planet or in the family or in this company or what am i doing here with my career with my passion so who am i in relation to my passion to my talents i have these talents am i using these talents what am i doing here what was i doing until now was i wasting time <laughs> was i learning was i practicing was i trying was i fighting was i struggling or is this what i want what i want to do from now on and then you say what do i want to do from now on in relation to my passion to my talent to my career and then finally where am i going with this the third question okay if i continue as i'm doing now where is this going to end you have to answer this question because if you don't you will never uh feel responsible for the consequences that will come so for example if i put my hand on on a hot stove it is going to lead to burns and injury and maybe eventually to hospital so if you know that you are doing something has a specific ending you have to become aware of it and say okay if i'm in a relationship where i'm not feeling loved where is this going and it will become obvious to you where it's going <laughs> to hell okay <laughs> You will feel miserable eventually and angry and dissatisfied and it will become worse so when you have answered where is this where am i going with how it was until now then you can answer where do i want to be going with this where do i want to end up with my career with my passion with my talents with whatever so now when you have answered these three questions you have provoked quite a uh, um a move in you in your psyche and questions always work on your subconscious so questions will provoke the deepest truths to come up because you are not answering you are asking the question the answers come out of you you are becoming aware of the answers just by asking the question so i'm not asking you to think hard no i'm asking you ask the question Feel the answer. It will come and you will write maybe 10, 20 answers to each of those questions. Um, so after that, I would, uh, and it's not like one leads to another. It's two different things that you can do. The other that, that I can give in this very short time as a, as a key is, is my method that i teach to the world for 14 years already of of allowing in croatian we call it dop uh which feels like you're on drugs <laughs> uh because it's a uh, it's uh, from the three letters of uh, a dop in croatian allow and let go and surrender um and these three these three letters of my method of alo truly um they relax you into the ability to live exactly what sabio said when he was introducing himself that he finds himself playing in the uh, in the sydney opera house he finds himself mm. playing in the sydney opera house without struggling to achieve it without intending to achieve it without you know fighting to be there to you know to suppress other people and go over them so that he can be there no he finds himself there and allowing is truly like a magical stick i call it a magical stick where you for example you have a dream you have a passion your mind will tell you but you don't have enough knowledge money time resources space whatever you don't have enough to achieve that passion to achieve that dream and it kills you before you have started it's like you don't even start the trip you don't leave the house so i don't do that to myself what i do is i act on my highest passion to the best of my ability and this 
uh, this Bashar, this guy who channels this, yeah, um, they say the same thing, act to uh, act your passion to the highest of your ability. So, for example, tomorrow I'm going to another continent because my passion drove me immediately to make a decision. Well, not immediately. I, I had a energetic, uh, let's say, clearing uh, to, to be sure that this is my passion, not the ego. And when I went through emotional state, emotional process, uh, with some tears, with, uh, with uh, sadness, with anger, with all of it that was that was coming out suddenly i was able to say yes this is my passion and i'm acting upon it so how do i come there how does allowing alo allow let go and hand over or surrender how does it help me well you see when something comes my way i do everything i can not to resist and not to insist because these two things are the same Insisting and resisting means that this will persist. Insistence leads to persistence, and uh, 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 and resistance leads to persistence. So it will persist. If I am resisting emotions, they will persist. I don't want to resist, so I allow them to be. What does it mean? When I allow, I acknowledge their existence. I acknowledge they're there, and and in this way, I am. I'm admitting the truth. I am not running away. So today, when I needed help, I really, Sabio was here in a meditation 